Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. There is a hadith saying that the Holy Quran will act as an intercession on the judgment day for those who read it. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have to live by what the Holy Quran says and apply it to our daily lives. But does this hadith emphasize reading from the Quran on a daily basis or often? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> People are usually looking at us and thinking that <coughs> because we are emphasizing don't read the Quran, don't just rely on the Quran. They're saying, oh, these people, they're telling people not to read the Quran. That's not what we mean. We're showing you a little bit of the minaret, and you are saying, what? What is that? You're not understanding what he said. In the Naqshubandi way, we read the Quran five times a day. Not once, five times. If we pray Fajr, which I'm inviting everyone, if you can, if you're not too busy to pray Fajr with us and to understand what the Naqshubandi Fajr is, and this is a little bit abbreviated also. You have to recite every day Suratul Yasin. If you mute it, we recite. Or you sit someone who can recite. For Zuhur prayer, we have to sit, we have to read Suratul Mulk. For Asar, Suratul Naba. For Maghrib, Suratul Sajda. For Ishak, we have to read Suratul Mulk again. There are different reasons for that. Fridays, we have to read at least Suratul Kaf, Fatih, and uh, Suratul what? Juma. Suratul Juma. We have to read. And this is just basic. Other than that, as part of our awrat, part of our wirid, we are reading one juice of the Quran every day. Now, this is for murids who can carry it. Because, you know, if you're a good teacher, you're not going to give your students something that they cannot carry. Good teacher, good doctors, if you're a bus driver, you're not going to tell everyone, now learn how to be to drive the bus. They may do it for you. If you can do it, you do it. If you cannot do it, there are ways of substituting it also. Part of a daily zikr, if you cannot read one Jews of the Quran, then read one his of the Del Sharif. If you cannot do that, recite hundred times Ikhlas Sharif. We are listening to the sohbet of our share, and you see, like I said, a lot of people, I don't know what's happening sometimes. Uh, it's, they are so used to certain ways, and they say if this certain way is not presented to us, it cannot be authentic. It's very easy for us to sit here and to be reciting Quran in perfect Arabic, and to recite, you know, that this is coming from this surah, this verse, and everything the way that the scholars they are doing, but like I said, we are not a scholastic association. We will say things that it will fit into everyone's intelligence at whatever level. And more than recitation of the Quran, we're going to talk about the meaning from the experience of the ayats that we are talking about. So that it makes sense, it's not just a recitation of the Quran. So, that is what we are doing. If Muritsi cannot carry it, then there are certain things that they can carry. You can recite Ikhlas Yashari for other things. If you cannot do all of that, the Shaykh will say, okay, then do something else. Do this or do that. Because now, they don't place such a heavy burden on us that we cannot carry also. Uh, they are representing the Holy Prophet as Rahmatul Alameen, the uh, mercy to all the nations. And they know the murids of today is not the same as murids 100 years ago. Completely different. Completely different. Or 50 years ago, or 200 years ago, you cannot expect. That's the problem with books. Because it's trapped there. It's just a stale knowledge. You cannot. Now, there are living books and there are people who can give you knowledge that is fresh. The knowledge has to come fresh and alive and to give whoever that is there for them. But... Who is really listening these days? People are very used to 10 years, 20 years of their lives, going to school, listening to lecture. Now they finish, they also want to hear lecture. Until they, <laughs> they want to hear lecture, 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 lecture. No, move away from the lectures. Now have sohbets. Now understand what is happening. Put two and two together and put it into your life. It is not how much knowledge you have. It is how much you put it into your life. Like they're saying in Turkish, <clears throat> a donkey that circles seven times around the Kaaba does not become a haji. Yeah? 
Don't be like the donkey, Holy Prophet Lesson, saying, burdening yourself with books. Now start to do it, start to become human. And especially in the Nakshabandi Tarikat, we're saying, Oh, you think you know? We're going to take away that too. <laughs> La ilaha illallah. Whatever ilah that you have in there, get rid of it. Put Allah. <laughs> Fatiha. Um, say. <laughs>